Right, I thought I'd try and feed the old leeches. Now, they do take little organisms, so I've got, I have to get some more blood worms anyway for the, um, for the guppy and that. So I thought I'd try them on some blood worms. You never know, they might, they might go for it. Believe it or not, I actually did a water change yesterday. But it's, um, I think two moss balls is a bit too much for this little, little tank. But I did do a water change yesterday, but I, have to, I might have to take one of these moss balls out. Um, oh, and I've brought a turkey baster as well now, because that makes life, that makes life a lot easier when you're doing the water change and you're sucking out the bits at the bottom. I'll tell you, these, these leeches have impressed me so much. They've, they've fast becoming, to be honest, part of the channel. <laughs> Not just food. Um, they've impressed me a lot. They're all stuck to the surface, or most of them. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're amazing survival. Their, their survival skills are absolutely amazing. What they can do, they can live out of water, they can live in water, they can walk, they can swim. Their suckers are really strong. Their whole body is like muscle. They can cling to here and go right up in the air. They can become male or female. It's amazing. They can release, supposedly, they can release chemicals in the water to make the water safe. They do like the pond environment, this kind of environment. So my research says they do like the pond environment. Um, but I might have to reduce one take one of these moss balls out maybe it might be too much right let's try this um these blood worms then if I can get the top undone there you go yeah. what are you doing there you go Let's just drop it in and see what, see if I actually go for it at all. They only need to feed like once, once a year kind of situation, so they might not even go for it. They're not the fastest, well they can be fast movers when they want to be. I don't know, this is just a suck it and see. So I don't know if it'll work. Let's get that one back in. Mr. Escapee. God, look how well they stick. You've kind of got to time it for when they release. Get in. Bizarre. Can't tell if they're eating them really. Oh, well, there was one coming out, but. They're just going past it like it's weed or something. Ooh, thought you grabbed one there, but you didn't. Ooh, nearly had me camera. He's trying to stick to me camera. Where are you going? Come back. Mm. 
Got that one stuck on now. Hold on. Need both hands. Well, I've got the lid back on now. I'm starting to get overrun. Time will tell. No, I don't think I've seen any of them feed on any yet. They've been going into, into it, but. No obvious movement of like feeding or anything. Just try different things until something they start feeding on something. They're certainly not going to feed on me. No way. Don't think they recognize bloodworms as food. I'll try something else. Maybe a worm. They might connect to a worm, worm, worm mightn't they? Hmm. Well, process of elimination. Try different things. <laughs> 